I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on. Step through the doorway to your final battle. Okay. Two things before I do this. Number one, I'm going to be healing, but number two, I actually have not used those rare candies. What do I want to give them to? I'm not going to give them to Onyxia because she's going to level up in like one fight. Spook seems like the best winner for this. Because he just, he's a fresh level. But I also need to think about who would benefit the most from them. What I'm going to need in the fight ahead. I don't remember all of the champions Pokemon, but I remember some of the big hitters. And I think I know what, what they're going to lead with. Which means I'm probably going to be leading with Lumen myself. And I'm going to need Spitfire and or Onyxia to be in prime form when I get there. So because of that, I'm going to give these to Spitfire. Onyxia is probably the one who's more likely to be able to handle what I'm thinking about, but at the same time, I don't know. So I'm going to have Spitfire elevated a couple of levels just to, just to really see it. Let's go. Hello, Cynthia. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet and for the Distortion World. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokémon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned. I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As Pokémon League Champion, I accept your challenge. Champion, Cynthia. Regarded as one of the, if not the, most powerful League Champion in all of Pokemon. Opening with a Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb exerts pressure. So Spirit Tomb is a Dark Ghost type, which means there are no weaknesses, but they are mostly defense focused. Uh, that's why I wanted to lead with Lumen. So that way I can get a uh, light screen up and just stall it out if I need to. We're going to open with our own Shadow Ball now that light screen is in play. And we'll just, we'll just roll with the punches from here, come what may. Yeah, like, even without the light screen, those wouldn't be hurting too much. Their pressure combined with their high defenses makes Spirit Tombs relatively annoying. Either way, I think those Shadow Balls softened it up enough. Let's give it a Thunderbolt. Dead Spirit Tomb. Good job, Lumen. Alright, what's next? Oh, jeez, we're just going straight for it, aren't we? Garchomp. That's the dream killer right there. Everyone who has played Pokemon Gen 4 knows about this demon. And this is the Pokemon I was saying I need either Onyxia or, um, or Spitfire for. Garchomp is lightning fast and a physical death machine with Earthquake. And I think it has another move called Dragon Rush. I'm not sure of its full move set. But Onyxia is an iron wall. And this right here is the number one reason I gave her the Nevermelt Ice. I'm counting on you, Onyxia. You can do this. It's going for the Quake. Come on, Onyxia. I know it's a devastating attack, but you gotta tank it. Yes. No! Okay, that's, that's bad. That's very bad. Spook, damage control time. Okay. Now what do I do? <laughs> I t that was a panic attack because if that earthquake were to crit on Onyxia, dead. 
it's possible that I could outspeed it. But it's very unlikely. What is Spook's speed? 170. She is very fast. He is very fast, but... Mm. Do I chance it? Do I chance it? I don't think I've got a choice. Hypnosis. No! Bye, Spook. Go sleepy by. Way to freaking go, you champion! Spook? You are a freaking legend. Consume her dreams. That did nothing. You've got more physical defense. I'm going to switch over to Spitfire while Garchomp's asleep. If I'm lucky, it'll stay asleep one more turn. Good. Okay, Spitfire, I just need you to survive whatever this thing throws at us this turn. <gasps> They're still asleep! Spitfire's going to kill it! Beat Shark! <laughs> that was her single most powerful Pokemon. Oh my lord, that was terrifying. Simpath, get in here for that Rosa raid that I completely forgot she had. Oh my lord, I cannot believe it. Garchomp is dead and I didn't lose anybody, but good gravy, that was close. How the heck did Spook survive Dragon Rush? I have no idea how the heck he survived that. He should not have survived that. Okay, Roserade's down. Who's next? Who's next, Cynthia? Uh, oh, oh. 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 Togekiss. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Mm. Uh, Lumen, get in here. I'm not going to try and attack it. I'm going to light screen. I pray that you survive this, Lumen. That's a pretty powerful move, but it is not going to get stabbed. It's still special. I think you can tank this. Okay. Now that we are protected behind a barrier, time for a little damage control. <laughs> nice try, Togekiss. But Lumen does not care for your aura. You know what? I'm content to just kind of sit here and wall while I patch up my team. Because she's still got some more Pokemon after this. I want to make sure that I am in tip-top fighting form. The biggest thing I have to fear right now is an Aura Sphere crit. And I think that I'm at a threshold where a crit still wouldn't kill. Let's patch up Sympath next. Then I'll patch Lumen back up. And then I'll patch up Onyxia. And then we'll get the kill. Okay, yeah, now I think a crit is fatal. Drop a Moo Moo Milk. Drink your milk, Lumen. It's good for your bones. All right. One more heal. Give that to Onyxia. Is this going to be the end of my uh, light screen? Not quite. Yeah, 
Just go for the Thunderbolt. Go for the Moita. Although it's probably not going to kill. Togekiss do have a lot of special defense. Lest we forget Scramble. I would normally be very happy that that Paralysis just happened. Except for the fact that I know that Cynthia is going to put a full restore on it. So it's going to ultimately be a moot point. Thunderbolt! Get you back down to almost dead. And there goes the light screen. Okay. Um, I'm just going to heal up Lumen real quick and then try and drop another one. I'll just have to tank some kind of attack without a light screen, which is fine. Yep, Aurasphere, you've still got plenty of those, I'm sure. I forget, Aurasphere had what, 10, 15 power points? Something stupid like that? Okay, yeah, that's about what I expected to see. Light screen. Put up the wall, Lumen. I'm going to say right now, I feel like if it wasn't for Lumen's light screen, I would not have been able to do nearly as good as I have during this entire run. I, I didn't expect light screen to be this helpful, but doggone it, it has been. I do I do love him. Like, I, I know that light screen's a good move, but I... I guess I just was even even expecting it to be great. I was underestimating it. You know what I mean? Lucario. Interesting. Well, I know exactly who I want for that. Spitfire, get in here. We're going to melt the iron fighting dog. Stone Edge. Didn't expect you to try Stone Edge, but um, doesn't really matter. Honestly, I was expecting an Aura Sphere out of you. Beautiful. Alright, Stone Edge hits. Yeah, that's what I figured. Even a crit wouldn't have been a death sentence there. Kill off Lucario. Don't mess with the octopus. Milotic. Didn't expect that. I'm going to send in Sympath for the final fight. Milotic is a pure water type and is the evolution of Feebas. Evolved by maxing out its beauty. Because look at that thing, it's gorgeous. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. Lucky champ. Better safe than sorry. We've still got our light screen up. So now, special attacks are reduced. I have got my special wall out, and I can't be crit. You done. You are not going to stand up to Simpath. Here we go. Leaf Blade. I won't let this end yet. This match is too fun to let it end this easily. Your guard chomp nearly gave me a heart attack, Cynthia. But then again, I think you're used to that. And that's that. Cynthia has been defeated. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And just now, you became the most powerful of all trainers. You're now our newest champion. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokémon needed to maximize their power. And you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokémon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me. We'll take the lift. I still can't get over the fact that my only loss was Brava against the first Elite Four member. That's insane to me.
The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Oh, hey, Rowan, when'd you get here? Quiver, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness this child's crowning glory. Quiver, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Quiver, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, please join us. With pleasure. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If your last time here was when I became champion, then yes. That would be quite a long time ago. Quiver. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokémon. Remember, your Pokémon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Lumen the Jolteon, from Heart Home City. Spitfire the Octillery, from Sunny Shore. Onyxia the Steelix, from the Wayward Cave. Spook the Gengar, from the Old Chateau. Simpat the Gallade, from Route 208. And rest in peace, Brava Staraptor, from Lake Valor. Only one of my final team was from a freaking route. Everyone else was from a named location. That's kind of funny to me. But that is that. For all intents and purposes, that is a victory for the Nuzlocke. Of course... As I, at the very least, alluded to before, I'm not considering this quite done yet. But if this thing would finish saving, there we go. Credits. Let's put the prettier picture up on the top screen. So yeah, for all intents and purposes, that is a Nuzlocke victory. Four attempts in with, what was it, 54 deaths? Between all four attempts, I think. 14 deaths this attempt. I think that's what I'm at right now. I honestly forget off the top of my head. Considering this is my first time actually trying to go through a full Nuzlocke challenge, um, I think I did okay by the end. <laughs> Once I actually had a better grasp of what was going on. I mean, let's be real here. All of the deaths from this attempt were almost exclusively just due to my own carelessness. As in, I, they were easily avoidable. About the, on, the only real exception, if you ask me, is Brava. Because, you know, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't know that the Yon Mega was going to be double teaming, so I didn't expect it to just outright miss. Is there anything new there? No. Um, I didn't just expect it to outright miss. And then I got crit one shot. So, that one I'm just counting up to bad luck. Everything else was my own dang fault. <laughs> But, I mean, if some of those deaths didn't happen, I wouldn't have ended up with the team I had right now. Like, if I didn't end up botching with Miles, I wouldn't have had Spitfire. And Spitfire was a doggone MVP. Let's be real. That and, of course, Onyxia just... It's kind of funny. I was expecting to lean on Onyxia a lot more in the, um, in the actual Elite Four than I did. But it ended up being a lot more heavy with Lumen and Spook, funny enough. Just for sweeping purposes, I guess. I mean, a good sweeper can go a long way. I still can barely fathom the fact that Spook had enough defense to survive that Dragon Rush from Garchomp. Dragon Rush is an extremely powerful move. I think it's got a power base of over 100. And Garchomp's physical attack stat is absurd. Like... Its attack, to put this in perspective, is about, I, th I think it's actually higher than Probopass's defenses. 
And you saw how good those defenses were. I mean, heck, you saw how much damage the Earthquake did to Onyxia with her mountain of defense. Yeah, she was quad weak, but still. It's nothing to sneeze at. So the fact that Spook was able to survive it kind of blows my mind. The only thing I can figure that actually led to that happening is the fact that I did the vast majority of my ending training there in Victory Road, where I was fighting lots and lots of Gravelers, Onyxes, and Steelixes, and, and stuff like that. So I was getting a lot of defense points for the remaining um, stats. That's like the only thing I can figure that could have contributed to that. But even then, I feel like I should have been one shot there. Whew. But yeah. Anyways, as for what's going to be happening now, um, there is a post game, like I had mentioned before. And I'm going to go through as much of it as I can under Nuzlocke rules. So we're going to be continuing off where we left off. Brava is still dead. So I'll have to replace her with someone else in the team. And I'm going to try and go through the post game up until the Elite Four refight. And... If I game over at any point during that process, then that's still going to be it. I'm not going to continue on from that moment. So I guess you could call this going for like a bonus lap or something like that. But whatever happens, I am considering this a victory. And I will definitely be doing another Nuzlocke somewhere down the road. Not exactly sure when, but... I don't need to have that answer right now. Hmm. So I can get a better shot of that. Oh, hey, look, there's a Magna Zone in the sky. <laughs> I actually didn't think there was stuff happening up above, but there was a Magna Zone flying overhead. That's neat. I just wanted to get a nice shot of that starry sky. And thus we return home. Bean. So, what happens if I actually, like, hit continue? Does it? Do we just wake up in our room? I'm gonna guess that's what happens. Yep. We just wake up here. All of our team. Right there. Brava is still dead. Ignore what that HP bar says. And next time on the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, now that we are in the post game, we'll just start seeing what I can do. Until then, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.